Okay, today we're going to go ahead and install um, this eight-piece uh, ultra racing uh, chassis kit. I got it from Throwdown Performance. Um, this is the stock tower tower arm right there, shut tower right there. Now, this is very easy install. Um, this is basically bolt-on. Um, the difference between the stock tower bar, the tower strut, is that the OEM one only uses three bolts. It uses the small ones, which are 12 mils. This one, this one, and the one behind it, which is back here. Um, on the UR, you actually have to remove all the bolts, which these are 14s, the small ones are 12. Um, while the car is not jacked up, that way the suspension is compressed, um, then you're just going to go ahead and unbolt all the bolts. When you have on both sides, once you have that done, you just slide the new, the new tower on and go ahead and bolt it all down. Now this one, you do need, um, I haven't tightened it down, you need, you're going to need a wrench for this one. Um, a 14 met a wrench because your socket won't fit there. Now the only bars I am not going to install are this long one right here, which is the one for your front lower bar. Um, reason why is because as you can see, my car is really, really, really low. So I'm going to bottom out, destroy this arm. So I'm gonna try, not going to go ahead and install this one. I'm going to leave this one out. And also I'm going to check the clearance for the mid bar, which is this one. This is this is the mid bar, the front mid bar, which goes or your resonator right in front of the resonator. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can clear it. I highly doubt that my level of clearance is it's not gonna work. It's but I got it anyways just to have the whole package. Um, you know, it's, it's better off having it and not having to go through the mission later on to get the the bars themselves. Um, what I am going to install is all the rear components. This is also the new 22 millimeter um, ultra racing 20 uh, sway bar, rear sway bar. Okay, since I already have the tower on, uh, I'm basically done with the front. I'm going to go ahead and close the hood because um, we don't need to work here anymore. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the rear. Okay, so when you have your car jacked up, um, go ahead and put your jack stands um, right where the the support is right there okay now that we have the wheel off we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start off doing the rear sway bar because it has the most steps um, it does a little bit more labor now if you look at your caliper this is the passenger side It'll be the same on the driver this bolt right here you need to remove it this is a 5 allen key that you have to put in the socket and you need a this is a 14 mil right here when you go ahead and remove that you get a 14 mil socket, preferably a deep, a deep one, because you have to remove it from the top. You have a bolt on the bottom, which is welded on, so you cannot remove it. So you need a 14 mil deep socket here. That way you can remove those two bolts. It's going to be the same. It's going to be the same thing on your driver's side. 14, five, 5 Allen key goes inside, which you will need it when you reinstall it. Right now you just need the 14 inch socket. And the same thing from top, remember the top, the bottom bolts are welded. So just let, remove, release the top ones and the sway bar will come off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bolt here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bolt. You're looking at it from the back of the car to the front. The bolt's right here. So you put your 14 in and you go ahead and turn it. Okay, so you get your 5 mil, put your, wrench, your 14 mil wrench in, you put the Allen right in the middle of the bolt, and you just hold it. That's all you have to do, and it'll slide out. Take off the bolt, and that's it. Your end link's done. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get the 12 millimeter deep socket here and we're gonna remove this this bolt right here these two bolts okay rear sway bar is completely removed 
um, both sides. Remember, you just gotta repeat the process on both sides. What I did is I brought the sway bar from from over the back control arm underneath it. Okay, so this is gonna be the easiest way to remove the sway bar. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna completely, like I, like I showed you on the other side, remove it, put it underneath the arms. You're gonna angle your driver's side arm towards the front of the car and you're just basically gonna slide it down underneath the support beam and then, as you can see right there it goes over you just push down a little bit and it completely came off without having to remove anything okay now this is a comparison between the stock i think this is a 17 mil uh, exl model versus a 22 millimeter ultra sway uh, ur bar Okay, I'm going to show you how to slide it in. There you go. Move it in. This is where it helps out if you have an assistant because they can help push down the exhaust. And it just slides in like what I showed you into the crack of the exhaust. Okay, this is something that will make your life much easier. Um, remember that the arm needs to go over the lower the traction arm. Um, this angle has to go over it. Now you're going to be able to get one side um, in completely easy going over this arm but the other side since this is too thick it's not going to happen so you just got to remove this bolt and just remove it, slide the arm down, bring it, bring the, the rear sway bar over it and then reattach it and you're done. Should be a 17 inch nut behind it. Once you got that loose, slide out the bolt, then you have this arm loose, you have it loose, and just get it back over. Okay, so as you can see, I got it over the arm by removing this arm, like as you, as you saw. I temporarily just reattached the nut to the end link and the sway bar and we're going to go ahead and align everything make sure everything bolts up 100%. Okay so I'm gonna sh you just got to bolt on the supplied nuts. I'm going to put the, the bolt on the bottom and then put the washer through the top. Put the washer through the top you see the drum link the, the bolt itself and just put the nut you can actually just temporarily put it on for now and put the other one on. All right, quick note, um, the new bolts from UR, um, there are no longer 12. Um, their bottom is a 13 and the top is a 13. All right, I'm gonna show you how to install the UR RLS4, which is this arm right here. I'm gonna, we're gonna be installing the two small arms. So we're gonna install this one, which is the left side, the driver's side first. Now, you're going to remove, this is your rotor, you're going to remove this bolt right here, which is a 14, right there, that bolt, then underneath the support frame right here, this, you're going to look underneath it, you're going to remove this second bolt right here, which is a 12. Okay, so this is the after, um, remember what I said, all you need is a 14 bolt here, and the second bolt here the 12 connect it and that's it that's how it's supposed to look now here's the thing on this on these arms they are they need to be there are they are side oriented the driver's side is gonna arc and it's gonna arc the driver's side one is gonna arc like this it's gonna go forward and arc this way that's the driver's side one. So from here, and it goes like this. The, dri the passenger side is gonna go down and the opposite way. So dri when the two bars, this one goes, look, it goes this way and then towards me and arc and p turns inside here. The passenger, if you try to install the passenger on this side, it's gonna go like this 
and it's gonna go to the back of it. Okay, now what we're gonna install is this long arm that goes underneath the exhaust. It is the UR776, which is this long piece. Which is the long one right there. Okay, so this is the install for the 776 arm. Now this is what your rear sway bar is at, right where your attachment hooks are at. Right? Okay, so you're gonna look right across and this bolt right here, you're gonna remove this. This is a 17, gonna be the same thing across. Right there, you see it? Okay, I wanted you guys to see how long the bolt is, so don't get scared when you're sliding this thing out. This is how you install it. Slide it over the exhaust to the back half. Remember, this is much easier when you have two people. And it goes right underneath it. Now, this is a very snug fit, so make sure that you do it properly. And that's how it goes. And we're gonna bolt it onto that bolt, like I said. So like I said, you put the washer with the lid down on top and you put the UR bar and then you go ahead and get your bolt and you just bolt it in place. Now you do need deep sockets from almost all the installs for these so just keep that in mind. Okay, now, okay, now we're going to go ahead and install the UR775 which goes beneath the exhaust okay I'm gonna show you how to install that now okay so this is this is the attachment points for the UR775 um, this is 776 right above where I showed you before the 775 goes here on this on the other arm so this is where it's gonna to attach now to here and the same thing on the other side Right there. So right across, right there. And that's the install side of it. And so on the last bolt, and done deal. Now this is a little thing for people that have MagnaFlow. Um, this is a very tight fit, so it actually after looking at it, this is not going to rattle at all it's actually causing some some really good pressure upward and making the exhaust very very stiff like you can't even you can't even move it so this is actually right on the exhaust pushing up so this won't rattle at all can't even move it it's real good